is Miss Krista, and I am so happy to see you. Today, we are going to learn all about something really special. We are going to learn about plants. Plants are really special because there's so many different types of plants. Some are big, some are small, and plants come in all different colors. My plant is yellow. Today, we are going to learn all about how to plant a seed. We are going to play a game where we act like plants, and we are going to learn all about what plants need to grow. I can't wait to learn all about plants with you. Learning's fun at pre-K with Kristen. Sing, dance, laugh, come on, let's listen. Letters, numbers, games to play. Let's learn something new today. Spring is the perfect time to plant flowers and vegetables. This is my plant. It's called a marigold. Plants have lots of different parts. This colored part on top is called the flower. Can you say flower? Flower. Good job. The part that holds the flower nice and tall, right here, this is called the stem. Can you say stem? Stem. These are called the leaves. The leaves help soak in all of the sunlight so the plant can grow big and tall. The leaves are green. Can you say leaves? Leaves. Down here, you can kind of see them sticking out of the bottom. These are called the roots. The roots go down into the soil, which is like dirt, and they go deep down to hold the plant still so it doesn't fall over. They also soak up lots of water from rain that falls on the ground. The plants need lots of water so that they can stay healthy and grow big and tall. I like to look at plants and grow plants and see all of the beautiful colors that they grow into with their flowers. I also like to plant vegetables and fruits in my garden. Vegetables and fruits give us lots of yummy snacks. Let's play a game. We're going to pretend like we are flowers or plants. When I say a type, a part of the plant, I want you to pretend like you are doing that part. Let's start with flower. If I say flower, I want you to put your hands up and pretend like you're making a big flower with lots of colorful petals. Flower, can you pretend to be like a flower? Flower, very good. Now, let's pretend to be like the stem. We're gonna stand up nice and tall so that we can hold the flower up straight. Everybody, put your hands to your side and pretend to be a nice tall stem. Stem, very good. Now, let's put our arms out and wave them around like beautiful green leaves. These are gonna pretend to be our leaves. Leaves, can you put your arms out and wiggle them around to pretend to be big, beautiful green leaves? Leaves. Now, let's pretend like we're the roots. You're gonna have to bend over and use your arms Wiggle your fingers like you're growing down into the soil so that you can hold your plant in place and soak up all of the water. Roots. Do you remember each of the movements? Here we go. Make each movement for the part of the plant that I say. Stem. Stand up nice and tall. Leaves. Wave those leaves. Flower. Make your big, colorful, bright flower petals. Roots. 
grow your roots down into the soil to soak up all of that water. Flower. Stem. Leaves. Roots. Flower. Leaves. Stem. Roots. Good job. You learned all of the parts of a plant. I am so proud of you. Excellent work, friends. Did you know that some bugs are very helpful to plants and they depend on them to grow big and strong. Bees are called pollinators because bees buzz around to different flowers, landing on them so they can drink the sweet nectar. And when they land, the tiny bits of pollen, which are the yellow part of the inside of a flower, get on their feet. And when the bee flies to the next flower and lands, it spreads the pollen so that that flower can mix with the pollen and make seeds to create new plants. Butterflies do the same thing. They are pollinators too. Let's flap our arms and move like a bee. Buzz, buzz. Now let's make our hand like this and fly like butterflies. Fly little butterfly, fly little butterfly, fly little butterfly. Very good. Another bug that is very helpful to plants are ladybugs. Ladybugs eat little tiny bugs that hurt plants. The ladybugs don't eat the leaves of the plants or hurt plants. They protect them from little tiny bugs. I am so excited to learn all of that new information about bugs and how much they help plants. I didn't know that. Did you know that bugs are helpful to plants? Wow. I am so excited to learn all of these neat new things with you. Plants are so special, but plants need things to stay alive so that they can grow beautiful, big, strong, healthy flowers and leaves and stems, and some even need those things to grow food for us to eat. Those things that a plant needs to survive are sunlight, soil, which is like dirt, but it has lots of vitamins to keep the plant healthy. And water. Lots of plants get their water from rain, especially during the springtime when it rains a lot. But if you have plants inside your house or in a garden, it's very important that you make sure that you are giving them water so that they don't get too thirsty. Let's sing a song about plants and pretend like we are going to plant a beautiful springtime garden. Dig, dig, dig the soil, plant the little seeds, water them and give them sun. They'll grow up tall indeed. Wow! Thank you for singing and helping me grow this beautiful garden.